Well, Milady Noir, it looks like you're playing the easy part today. Not so sure about that. Looks like we'll be taking on two opponents with each other's powers. Stay focused, Mr. Bug. Use the yo-yo as a shield. Ow! Oh. They've swapped their Miraculouses! And they're struggling with their new powers. Make the most of it, Reflector. Their Miraculouses are within your reach! Yes, Hawkmoth! Just my luck, I'm gonna have to capture two Akumas instead of one! No! One Akuma and one Amok! Reflector has been re by Hawkmoth, but that giant doll of hers is a Senti monster created by the owner of the Peacock Miraculous! Ha! Okay, so we have to find Reflecto's akumatized object and the baby monster's amok. Can you manage, or should we switch back? Come on, I'm totally capable of doing it. I just need to use my luck. No, wait! Why'd you do that? Because it's too early. You don't know enough about your opponent yet. Uh, watch out! It's Reflecto controlling a giant dog! But you don't know where the akuma and amok are hiding! The Akuma's probably in the same place as the first time we fought her, in her bracelet! Maybe! We're gonna have to check that! If I could just get my hands on a mirror, I'd be able to reflect her own beam back at her! That's not how it works! The Lucky Charm doesn't just give you what you want. We'll see about that. Watch and learn! Lucky Charm! A mirror? Luck. You're just jealous of my mastery, that's all. Very effective, Mr. Bug. But I thought... May I remind you that the Lucky Charm doesn't just give you an object to defeat the villain with? You actually have to figure out exactly how to use it to win the battle, using your head! <laughs> Use up your lucky charm. You've only got a few minutes left Ugh. before you transform back, Bugger Boy. Why don't you try helping me instead of making fun of me? Ah. Apparently, Bugger Boy doesn't have a sense of humor. Sounds like you're wearing the clown costume now. You bet. I'm the cunning, funny, and ultra charming Lady Noir. Watch and learn. Stop, Marinette! Marinette! <gasps> uh, I'm so sorry, this is all my fault. Of course not, Cat Noir. It's Tom. Huh? No matter how many times I tell him, he always takes things too far. I'll bring your husband back to his senses and get Marinette out of this. I promise. Shouldn't you wait for Ladybug? I trust her. She always shows up at the right time. You really love her, huh? Yes. But, um, Marinette seems like an awesome girl, too, you know? Don't worry, I'll save her. I have faith in you, Cat Noir. You're a good person. Never apologize for your feelings. Thank you, Mrs. Dupan Chang. Good luck, Cat Noir! Mr. Dupin? Uh. How dare you come back after what you've done? Uh. Uh. 
I will always be here to save Marinette. She's safe from you and all the boys who want to break her heart. I didn't mean to break her heart, sir. I swear. Then I swear that I'm about to crush your bones. Where are you, Ladybug? I'm sorry, but I can't let you do Why that. Why not? Because I have Blow, a damsel in distress to rescue. I forbid you to rescue her. You don't deserve to save her. From now on, no one else but I will protect her. And are you planning to protect her all her life? Exactly. I'll keep her safe from sadness, hardship, and anything else that could hurt her. You can't protect her from what hurts the most. Do you know what hurts the most? My great big punches. Uh no, what hurts the most is solitude. Believe me, I know all about it. Nothing hurts more than isolation. Having to sit alone in front of a cold meal. Is that what you want for your daughter? A lifetime of cold meals in her prison of roses? She will never be alone! Someday. A prince will come, a prince worthy of her, daring enough to face me, who will brave the many dangers and pick the magic rose for her. He will be worthy of taking her from my guard. Where are you taking me? Mayor's orders. Mr. Bourgeois and I have been friends for a very long time, and- Yes, we're nearly there, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, officer. Yeah, oh. but who are you? At your command, Mr. Mayor. What I wouldn't give for another person. No, let me go. I can take your voice, Bob Roth, and make you say whatever I please, but that's not what I want. I want you to admit what you did to Marinette and her friends with your own voice. Never. I'd rather be silent. You really think I can't make you? Listen, I can ruin your reputation just like you threatened to do with Marinette. Everyone in showbiz knows me. I'll make sure you lose every single one of your friends. I'll put you in prison. I'll never sing for you, Dad. You'll never make another dime from my music. We'll make your life a nightmare, Bob. Wait, stop, okay? I'll do it. I'll tell the truth. Dear viewers, we're back on the air for an exclusive interview with Bob Roth. He has something very important Wait, m'lady. It might be too early to pull off your crazy plan. Could wait for Bob Roth to actually tell the truth, then justice would be served for Kitty Section, wouldn't it? It would be revenge, not justice, and being coerced into telling the truth is meaningless. You're right, Milady. You're not much fun, but you do have a point. We have to save him. Come on! We got all the time in the world! We might as well have a bit of fun! Keep your nose out of other people's business, Kitty, or I'll silence you! That would be a shame considering how hilarious I am! <laughs> Where'd he go? You're gonna have to do better than that, Ladybug, if you're gonna defeat this supervillain. Isn't that you and Cat Noir's job? This is all that band's fault, those kitty whatchamacallits. None of this would have happened if they hadn't made such a fuss about their so-called ideas. Oh no! I can't find Ladybug anywhere! How will I ever get out of this mess without her? Cat Noir! I'm over here! Milady, if you've gotten your voice back, then you've defeated Silencer! It's safe to come and find you! Yes, yes, there's no danger now. Meet me outside the studio. I'll wait for you. Okay, I'm coming. I'll meet you outside the studio door. You've got to be the dumbest superheroes ever. How could you let the bad guy in on your plan? And what's with this fake lucky charm? I thought it was supposed to be magic or something, but it's actually just some crafty special effects. You took your time. Did something hold you up? <laughs> you thought you had us, didn't you, Silencer? But you're wrong. Ladybug still has her superpowers. That's impossible. I took your voice from you. How could you possibly have summoned up your lucky charm? I don't see how this is going to work any better than a lamp, but at least you got yourself a real lucky charm. I'm warning you, buddy. You haven't heard the last from Ladybug. Lila Rossi. 
I forbid you to go anywhere near Adrian. <laughs> Give up on him and I will spare you. Adrian, I don't know anyone named Adrian. Don't lie to me. I'm really sorry, but I always get what I want. It's not my fault. Well, this time you're going to have to give in. Otherwise, you'll really get it, whether you want it or not. Don't you think you should ask the lucky guy what he thinks? <laughs> uh, hey, I'm just trying to help. Uh, <laughs> Come on, this way! I don't need you, Ladybug. I was perfectly capable of defending myself. <laughs> Guys, that ugly horned girl doesn't stand a chance with Adrian. Oh, Are you really sure I don't stand a chance? Back up! There's no use running. Wherever you go, I'll find you. Not before we've captured your Akuma, anyway. <laughs> I can protect you down at the precinct. The Akuma must be in her boat in Kanoir! Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about your forehead problem, though. What forehead problem? <gasps> what is this disgusting thing? What kind of a message is this? My car. What happened to the young lady with the horn on her forehead? The one being chased by that super villain. Lila? Since when does she have a horn? <laughs> Go ahead and run as fast and as far away as you can, Lila Rossi. There. I feel like she's taunting us. She won't be laughing for long. You still think you can get away from me? Honey? Huh? <gasps> Ma, uh, Miss Dupan Chang! <sighs> I was in the bakery when this teenager with a horn came running in! Lila! Oni-chan must be there already! Stay here! 